Hello and welcome to X Talks Vitals, home to the latest food, life science, and medical device news. I'm Sonia Hunt. Food giant Nestle put its Palforzia peanut allergy treatment up for sale only two years after acquiring the company that developed it. Here's Sidney Pomutter with the story. Thank you for the introduction, Sonia. Palforzia, the first drug for peanut allergies in children to be approved by the FDA, is aimed at consumers from the ages of 4 to 17 with a confirmed peanut allergy diagnosis. The drug may alleviate some of the symptoms associated with the allergy, such as constriction of airways, hives, and swelling. Unfortunately for Nestle, it's a niche market since less than 3% of the U.S. suffers from peanut allergies and roughly 75% of them are over the age of 17. Another issue with Palforzia is it's time-intensive compared to the traditional method of just avoiding peanuts. Patients need to visit an allergist every two weeks for four to five months, which includes an extra hour for observation just in case they go into shock. Nestle first invested in Palforzia's parent company, Amune, in 2016, eventually building a stake of more than 25%. In 2020, it purchased the rest of the company for $2.6 billion. However, Nestle's decision to sell Palforzia comes after slower-than-expected adoption by patients and healthcare professionals. Now, Nestle's health science division will focus more on its bread and butter of food supplements and vitamins. Back to you, Sonia. Thank you, Sydney, for that story. That's it for today's show. Visit xtalks.com for more information on this story and click the link in the description below to find out more about our featured food webinar for this episode. Healthy Aging and Well-Being with Mediterranean Fruit and Vegetable Extracts, Part 2. Join us again for all your medical device, life science, and food industry news on xtalks.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the Xtalks YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below and click the notification button to stay tuned for more.